Hello YouTube. Here we have another netbook. Nice red HP one. And this one was uh, is in for repair. And I'm in the middle of... Uh, well, actually it wasn't in for repair. It was in for RAM upgrade because this thing is so slow. Needless to say, I'm just making sure it's nice and clean with malware bytes and all that stuff. But let me show you what's in here. It's uh, This is the reason that she was complaining that it's slow, and I think I found the reason. has Windows 7 on it, of course. It has an Atom N455. That is a very, very, very slow Atom processor. It's basically the Celeron of the line of Atom processors. And they decided to put Windows 7 on here, so it kind of shows a bit more than it would with XP, but... Eh, whatever, you know? <laughs> but yeah, this thing had Norton 360 and Trend Micro. Uh, titanium on it, so I uninstalled both of those and installed Avast. I scanned with Avast, it found like one thing, but it probably wasn't even that big a deal. Now I'm scanning with malware bytes, then I'll scan with Super Anti Spyware. I did actually I did Spybot already. Now I'm gonna do malware bytes and Super Anti Spyware. And after that, it I'm gonna install Windows 7 Service Pack One on here, install the updates, and it should be all good then. So. That's just a quick, just some basic upkeep and a RAM upgrade. When I actually replace the RAM in this computer, uh, uh, I want you to see how it comes apart because HP actually really outdid themselves on laptop maintenance here. I really like the way that they did it. So once I actually get the RAM in, I'll show you guys uh, how easy it is to get to everything in this computer. They've kind of solved that problem with netbooks. Like with this one down here, that Asus EPC, you actually have to take a to, uh, take the keyboard out to get it to everything. In this one, you actually take the bottom out. But uh, there's more than to it than just that. I'll, sh I'll show it to you once I'm done uh, maintaining, it, ma maintaining this thing software-wise and then get the RAM in there. Once I actually replace the RAM, basically. Alright, here I am in the workshop again and, to the, and we have the HP Netbook. The one that I would... Uh, mentioned in the vi in a previous video. And the RAM just arrived for it today. I ordered some Patriot memory since Patriot actually manufactures some of their stuff in the US. It's two gigabytes of DDR2 DDR2800, sorry. Which I need to cut real quick. Apparently that's not good enough for them. I have to actually pull this dented thing off and take the RAM out. There you go. There's your stick of RAM. Now the reason I'm making this video is because I wanted to show you how easy it is to take to get into the bottom of this laptop. It's actually really, really nice. So we unlock the battery and take the battery out. And you don't have to do any unscrewing or anything. There is actually a orange lever right here that you kind of push or pull back, and it pushes that part up as you may have just seen. Then you can literally just pull the bottom off, and you have access to everything, which is awesome. I love HP for that. And you know what's also under here? The product key. <laughs> So I gotta cover the product key up with something. Um, crap. <laughs> oh, I know what I can do. So the product key is under the Swiss Army knife, and uh, hard drive. You can have access to your hard drive right under there, which is pretty nice, I'd say. Uh, and the RAM is right there. So we take a screwdriver, my trusty battery screwdriver, and. Uh, And do this here. And we unscrew that. There's your RAM. So it only took two screws to get the RAM out. 
Doing this is a little difficult with one hand, but I, can, I think I can do it. There we are. So they put Hynix memory in here, which is uh, DDR2 800 RAM. So we'll take that out, and we'll put the new stick in. There, the RAM is upgraded. <laughs> so you can screw this back on here. I absolutely love the design of this. They just, they really kind of catered to the people who like to open these up and upgrade them all the time. And this just makes uh, repair work for people who do this stuff like me very easy. They even have the, the uh, BIOS battery right there, which I really like. But yeah, that's how easy it was to upgrade the RAM. So, let me put the bottom back on so that it covers up that product key. I like how they put the product key on the inside so it doesn't wear off. So, I have to somehow figure out how to get this back on. There we go. And there, the bottom is almost back on. There, the bottom's back on. So I can put the battery back in. And we'll start it up and see if the RAM works. Alright. We have power. And the hard drive light went. Let me see Windows 7 starting up there. Oh, it's doing updates. Okay. Alright, and the computer's on, and the RAM appears to work. So, let's just check to see it recognized it properly once the thing boots up all the way. This thing is just extremely slow. I don't like this thing. I cleaned it up software wise. I put a vast antivirus on here to replace Norton 360 and Trend Micro, which were both active and both really out of date, and yeah. So now there's actual active virus protection on this thing, which is good. So let's check the, uh, taking a while, as you can see, mostly due to the processor. There we go. Recognizes the two gigs of RAM. And this upgrade's done. Very, very easy. I've cleaned this up software-wise. And I have also upgraded the RAM. So now this is a much better netbook with two gigs of RAM and a much more cleaned up Windows 7 install. So I just thought I'd show you that because HP made it really easy to get into the bottom of that. And I wish all manufacturer to that. Asus makes it extremely annoying, and so does Dell to get into there. And I've also seen some Acer Aspire netbooks that are the same way. HP kind of outdid themselves in that particular aspect. But, thought I'd show you that. RAM upgrade complete, and this thing is ready to go back to the customer. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.